How's it going folks and welcome back for some more FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, no money spent. Back here today with another squad build. This one comes in at under 130k. It's a mix of Premier League players and uh, Bundesliga players. So you've got the Premier League flair in there, along with the uh, Bundesliga defence. I say guys, it comes in at around 130k. Uh, at the moment it's uh, 129k on PS4 and 118k on uh, Xbox. On PC it is a bit more expensive. Anyway, let's get into the, the build. You need to use 451 and at uh, goalkeeper, I've got Manuel Neuer. Solid card, guys, all round. This card is uh, coming in now at around 33k, so it has significantly dropped in price. <coughs> Just go with the basic for this card, guys. You don't need to put any chem styles on there. And you'll get the job done. In defence, I've got the partnership of Alibar. Firstly, Alibar. I've got a shadow on him. This just boosts the pace up to well over 80. Defending is just insane with this card. Uh, this card I've used a hell of a lot and to be honest this is probably one of the best cheap defenders in the game. Next to him I've gone with Klosterman. Again guys, nothing more to be said about this card. Excellent card if you pop a shadow on there. Acceleration goes through the roof and the sprint speed as well. I mean, what more can you ask for from a cheap card? 98 sprint speed. Defending's excellent also. Physical's not too good, so maybe you could put something else on instead of the shadow to boost that. But I've gone with the shadow as you don't seem to notice the lack of physical. At left back, folks, I've gone with Ruzilon. Again, I've popped the shadow on there. Acceleration over 90 and sprint speed over 90. And the defending's just insane as well. I would honestly say for the price, this is probably pound for pound one of the best left backs in the game. At right back... This guy needs no introduction. Mukulele. Mukulele, I think he's called. Uh, again, shadows on there, folks. Uh, passing's not too good. Dribbling's not too good either, but the defence and the pace is excellent. With the shadow on there, the pace gets over, to over 90. And the defending as well is good, so he'll get the job done. At the CM position, I've gone with Lamy. Again, I've got the shadow on there, folks. Again, another cheap card. I think this card now is actually around 800, 800 coins. You can't go wrong with this card, folks. And he links really well with any Bundesliga players, including that defence. Pace is excellent. Finishing not that good, but you want him sat deep. Passing's okay, could be better. Uh, defending is excellent, and the physical is good as well. Okay, at right midfielder, guys, I've gone with Gareth Bale. Got the Hunter on there. Hunter puts the pace over well over 90. Puts the finishing up over 90 as well. Dribbling is excellent, this guy can pass as well. Uh, so, again, folks, he's coming in at around, I think, 15k now. So you can't really go wrong with this card. Next to him and linking up with him, we've got him in Cam for K. 
chemistry reasons, but he's going to be sitting back with Lamy. It's uh, Sissoko. Again, I've got the uh, shadow chem style on there, as I want to use him predominantly as a defender. Pace is excellent. You're going to get sprint speed well over 90, and this is the thing with this build, guys. With the, with the right chem style on there, there are not many players with pace under 90. So the meta is, is there to see. Defending's excellent as well. Uh, physical, well, look at the physical 89 for a cheap card. All in a card that's around 18k. You can't go wrong with this card, folks. Also fits in well with any uh, with most builds because he's, he's a French player, so the links are there. Okay, up top I've gone with Gabriel Zay Jesus. Got mixed results with this card to be honest, but with the Hunter on there, it uh, really does boost him. Finishing is excellent with the Hunter on. The sprint speed could be better, but it's over 90. His pace doesn't look all that good. And to be honest, it doesn't really show up in the game. But uh, it'll get the job done for you up front. What you could do if you wanted to downgrade, you could maybe go with Richarlison. As Jesus says, coming in at around 18k. Uh, dribbling is excellent though. Uh, physical not that good, but it doesn't need to be for a, a forward player. Next to him I've got Bobby Firmino, Roberto Firmino links up with uh, Jesus well uh, but again you could go with Richarlison I suppose I've got the uh, cat I've got the catalyst on this one but when when I buy him and use him in game I'm going to be going with the hunter because I want the finishing boosting but uh, as I say the pace isn't that good but with the uh, hunter cam style on that's going to get boosted Finishing is excellent with the Hunter Chem style on there. The one thing about this card, folks, is he can make a pass. So you're looking to play a 4-4-2 with uh, Jesus and Firmino up top. This guy can link up really well passing. One thing I have noticed with this game is a lot of the centre forwards, they, they the passing is really bad, but this guy can really make a pass. This card is really good for passing. Okay, again, guys, another Premier League player that deserves no int introduction, Saint Maximin. This guy's this card's price has dropped quite significant significantly because I think he's got a a rule breakers card out now. But look at that pace. I go with the Hunter sprint speed well over ninety. It's pushing a hundred. The finishing is good with good with the Hunter on as well. One weakness this guy does have is his passing. It's uh, just not very good. To be honest, he can't put a cross in either at 70. I've noticed his crossing's really weak. The dribbling's not bad, but uh, at the end of the day, guys, for what you buy this, this card for, which is to get down the wing, you can't go wrong. Okay, now how does this, this look in game? Okay, folks, I'd recommend the 4 4 2 because you've got Sissoko and uh, Lamer in the middle there, and they're going to do a real job defensively. I would possibly set one of them back but have the other one uh, on balanced because you want them to get forward and support the front two. I would personally go with Lamer to come forward because his passing's better. But those two on the wing are going to really cause havoc with defensive defences. And once you get the ball to Firmino, he's going to be good laying the ball off to Jesus with his passing. Another formation I'd recommend, folks, is the 4 4 1 1. You've got Lema and uh, Sissoko sitting in defence, and Firmino sits directly behind uh, Jesus. So you've kind of got that uh, lower setting forward behind Jesus. This would be another good uh, formation to use with this build. But again, folks, 
uh, it's a really versatile formation and uh, you'll be able to pick a lot of formations out of this another formation worth a mention folks is the 4132 you could have Firmino and Jesus up top uh, one of either of these two just sitting in behind and one sat really deep as a CDM again predominantly I would look to go to the wings to cause the, the offence with this particular formation but again this would be really solid in a nutshell guys this uh, build is really good defensively and it also packs a punch going forward so basically folks for 130k you can't go wrong if you're looking for a starter build anyway folks that's it for this video if you're enjoying the videos drop a like down below and don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back a bit later with some more FIFA action some more squad builds and some more SBC solutions until next time guys I'll catch you later